Yo guys, it's Morgs and today I have a pretty funny story to tell you about. And I'm going to be telling it you while live commentating over Call of Duty, which is going to be new for me because I'm terrible at Call of Duty, but now I've got to play it while I'm talking at the same time. So today I actually had a delivery and it was this great G Fuel. Oh god no, why did I mention G Fuel? Now everyone's going to think I'm a little phase kid wannabe. Yeah, I drink this because I'm fat and lazy and it's got low calories and it helps me get up in the morning. So please shush. But anyway, now we've got all the cringe out of the way, we are going to get into the Call of Duty and the story. So if I'm looking a bit in this direction, by the way, that's where my TV is. So this story happened not too long ago. Uh, it actually happened, I think it was about a week ago. No, shut up, that joke is so dead. So this story didn't happen too long ago, and basically... I passed out. So I was at the hospital just having a few checkups and that. It wasn't anything serious, but one of the checkups they needed was a blood test. Now, um, I've got no I've had one blood test in the past and uh, basically they stuck a needle there, there, there and there. And I had no problems with it. It didn't really hurt. Just to, like a little prick. And um, I'm, I'm fine with blood. I've watched quite a few Saw films and stuff like that, just for an example. You know, I'll happily watch stuff like that without like, sque I'm not like squeamish or anything. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit nervous because last time I had the blood test, I was all numbed. This time, they weren't doing anything to numb me, so I didn't know how much it was gonna hurt more. Turns out it didn't hurt anymore, but I was a little bit nervous. So basically, what actually ended up happening was I was laid on the bed, she stuck the needle in, it was all fine, you know, it, it didn't hurt that much. I kind of watched it come out, and you know, I was feeling everything was fine. And uh, after about, oh wow, the sentry gun just comes and wrecks me. So yeah, as I was saying, after about five minutes of the blood being removed, I started to feel a little bit queasy and I started to lose the feeling of my feet. Now, me, obviously, my brain was working fine. I knew that my feet were there and everything. I just couldn't feel them. So I thought to get the blood flowing again, I'd take it into my own hands to get up off the bed and start walking round. That was a big mistake. So yeah, the room I was actually in was quite long, the nurse was on the other side of the room, so um, sh there was no stopping me pretty much, I just, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get up and walk a bit. She didn't really say stop, because I kind of was already off the bed when I actually said it, but yeah, I got up and my feet, they just weren't working. Like, it felt like I just had like two stumps and there was just no feet there. I was trying to walk like you would usually, and it just wasn't working out. I'm actually on for a care package here, so I should probably concentrate. I just, I just messed it up. At least we got the UAV. So yeah, what happened is I fell. I walked about two feet and then it just weren't happening. I hobbled along. The nurse and my mum tried to come for me and like grab me so I didn't fall, but I fell. Now luckily, what they actually told me is I didn't hit my head that badly. I just completely was knocked out. So I just completely lost it. The last thing I remember doing was falling and I was actually passed out for about five minutes. So the doctor told me that what actually happened is I landed on my back and didn't hit my head because if I hit my head, it could have gone really bad so it is kind of lucky that I didn't actually do that. Oh, we got a care package. Oh wow, he's just gonna nick me UAV. But when I woke up, I was just completely out of it. I couldn't remember a thing of what happened up to actually falling. Uh, the rest I'm actually getting from my doctor who told me what happened while I was asleep and that because I asked about it. Obviously, I was a bit curious because I'd woke up, everyone was surrounding me and I was like, what just happened? So when I woke up, I was actually in my bed. They said they actually lifted me up. God knows how they did it. I weigh about a ton. For the next 10 minutes, I had to be moved around on an actual stretcher because uh, I couldn't walk, like literally. Uh, my feet, I could not feel them still. It did actually wear off a bit, which was good, but it was kind of a scary experience. But yeah, pretty much, I just thought this was a really funny story. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before, so I just thought this was kind of hilarious. Most of this is actually my own stupidity for actually standing up, but yeah, I have learned my lesson now that if you've had a blood test and you are feeling queasy and you can't feel your feet, it ain't a good idea to try and stand up. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I guess this was a bit of a life story, which is new for me because my life is pretty boring. I just sit inside all day. I'm literally mugging myself off in my own video. What am I doing? But once again, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If we could smash 750 likes, that would be absolutely incredible. If you do want some more videos like this, the actual live commentaries, then I will bring you some more, even though I'm terrible at Black Ops 3 and commentating over isn't exactly going to help me get better. I bet there's going to be that one kid in the comments that's like, Yo, shit, I'm going.
on duty, quit YouTube. Even though I said at the start of the video that I'm shit and I'll happily admit it. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, feedback, then leave them in the comment section below. But as always, I've been Morgs. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. No, out. No.